Drop a like and sub in the next five seconds if you guys want the Fortnite Season 8 Battle Pass for free. The Fortnite Mares 2021 Halloween trailer this season is going to absolutely blow your minds. And I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about Fortnite Mares 2021. Coming from secret weapons, free cosmetics, insane new bosses, a load of brand new map changes and a hell of a lot more. There's a lot of interesting things coming this Halloween. So make sure you guys are paying close attention. But 88% of you watching this right now are not subscribed to the channel, which means means you're missing out on a free gift from me as I do give five of my most loyal subscribers every single day. To people who do, drop a like on the video, turn on all notifications and leave a comment with the epic ID in the comment section below. And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please look at cities and my support or credit code XAPLS56 in the item shop. As it does help me out a lot, it does help me out do more giveaways for you guys. Hashtag ad. As you guys can see, man, we've got a lot of Halloween cosmetics. So please look at cities and my support or credit code. But without further ado, let's get into the video. First off, we're talking about the new mythic bosses coming this Halloween, starting off with Midas. Midas will be coming back again this year with his mythic drum gun, either as a shadow Midas boss or a zombie Midas boss, which I'm very, very excited for. And he'll most likely be at the center of the map, just like last year when he was at the ruins and he did get summoned by his golden chair. But we know he's going to be returning because he's been in literally every single new crew pack trailer. And also on the official Fortnite Mares image, you guys can see on one of the cards that do foreshadow things that are going to be coming this Fortnite Mares, the famous Midas handprint, which indicates he's returning this year again, which I'm very, very excited for, just like last year, but we're also going to finally be seeing him come as a new skin. Shadow Midas will be releasing this year as a cosmetic, which I am very, very excited for. I do personally think he should have released last year, but it looks like he's coming back this year, which I'm so excited for, and we're either going to be able to unlock him through challenges, or he's going to be coming into the item shop, which is going to be insane to have Midas back in the game and even as a cosmetic pro I'm so so hyped to get Shadow Midas but the Midas boss will most likely be in the center of the map starting on Tuesday but we're also going to be seeing a new graveyard drift skin another skin from the concept sheets we did see a few months back but he might be coming as a boss as well as when he does arrive the Venom and Carnage symbiote mythic weapons will be getting removed on the same day which only makes sense to have him as a boss as well I'm not too sure what weapon he'll be dropping maybe like a disguise weapon or an ability it's going to be quite interesting to see if he does come as a mythic boss but it would only make sense as they are removing two mythic weapons to add this skin into the game so i imagine he's going to be coming as a boss which i'm very very excited for as well but now we're talking about the new secret weapons in this update and as we know halloween brings so many cool weapons so the jewel fiend hunters are in game right now they do kind of suck but that is the new halloween crossbow that we did see but if you do play the new unvaulted game mode, you guys can actually find a load of unvaulted weapons, including the machine pistol. That's never actually been added into the game, so it's a bit confusing why it's in the unvaulted game mode. But we could possibly be seeing this come as a new Fortnite Mares weapon. For some reason, it's in the game right now, and it does 16 damage. A 14 fire rate, which is the same as the rapid fire SMG, which means it can bleed through builds and hit your opponent, even if he's turbo building, which is extremely overpowered it has a 32 magazine size which is way better than the rapid fire and that's a 2.31 second reload time which is a bit longer than the rapid fire smg but you also do get more ammo so i'm very 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 excited to see if we actually do get to see this in game as well in like solos duos trios or quads not just in the unvaulted lcm but this is probably going to be the new best smg in the game so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you guys have actually found this in the unvaulted game mode we're most likely going to be seeing the ghosts return or the shadows as they did like to call them and honestly I'm so so excited for these to come back because they did allow you to get some serious high kill games bro it was insane obviously when you died you turned into a shadow and you had to go and eliminate the remaining players which I thought was absolutely insane so let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for the shadows to return to get your high kill games bro it's gonna be incredible but now it's time to talk about some of the free rewards starting off with the new styles Fortnite have stated this this year we'll be getting a load of new styles so starting off with the skellington styles for the boxy and boxer skin which are amazing let me know what you guys think about these but we'll also be seeing a brand new golden skull trooper style becoming available this upcoming tuesday when the update does drop so i'm excited for this but we could also be seeing a new ghoul trooper style because why would they add a skull trooper style if they're not going to be adding a ghoul trooper style so who knows bro fortnite do with some amazing
interesting things for Fortnite Mares, and we can just hope we get a new Gold Trooper style. But we could also be seeing all the OG styles return as well. And we're now talking about all the new map changes coming in this Halloween update, and there is a lot. Oh my god. So, it looks like the Horde Rush LTM will be returning this Halloween, but all of these changes will also be in Battle Royale as well, coming with new chests that will grant us very, very powerful weapons, it does state. Some new items that will actually make you invisible to the zombies. This also confirms that the zombies will be coming back this year as well. The husks, the husk spawners, it's going to be pretty cool. There is also going to be new zombies coming as well, coming from the freeze, the explosive zombie, the poison zombie, and a strong gold zombie. That's like the big fat one you usually do see rolling around. But we'll also be seeing a brand new final boss. This final boss is going to be called the caretaker that we did actually see within the battle pass trailer at the very end, and he is huge, ladies and gentlemen. He is very, very big. And we're going to be seeing three of these wandering around the map, and he'll drop 50 cube shards, heals like med kits, bandages, mini shields, big pots, multiple legendary or mythic weapons coming from the new sideway scythe, the new sideway shotgun, the new fiend hunters, the scar, the pump, a load of new weapons will be dropping through these guys as well. I'm so, so excited for these. But this brand new boss, the caretaker, is going to be roaming around the map. There's going to be three of them, and it's just going to be absolutely amazing. Alongside all of that, we're going to be seeing a new fog that's going to be coming around that we did see last year. The crash site tubes will actually be turned off in phase eight. The candy buckets will be returning and also coming with a Halloween themed supply drops and Halloween themed llamas, which is going to be pretty cool. The cosmic chests will be removed. I'm guessing they're going to be removed for those new chests that are going to give us very, very powerful weapons. And the fiends will drop a better loot this year because last year they were, they were kind of bad. But finally, we're going to be seeing a brand new POI called Cube Town. Cube Town will be getting released later this update and I'm so, so excited for it. After all the cubes have met within the middle of the map and merged into one whole new POI, which looks pretty amazing, bro. We're going to have like Kevin jump pads. The loot there is going to be absolutely insane. And this is where we'll most likely see the new Midas boss. But Cube Town is probably going to be one of my new favorite landing spots, bro. It looks like it's going to be absolutely amazing. But that is all the brand new information we have about the Fortnite Mares update. It's going to be incredible. I'm so, so excited for it. Remember, if you guys are new out here, make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button. And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please do consider using my support or credit code XLBOS56 in the item shop. Because it does help me out a lot. It does help me out do more giveaways for you guys. Hashtag ad. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.